All right, let's get into some more uh, resistance news. This is important, not so much peaceful resistance, but just important to know about. If you're a, a news-following person, you may not have heard that there was another beheading. This from the telegraph.co.uk. Stephen Sotloff beheaded by Islamic State. Here's the latest. Uh, in, here's a clip from uh, the um, Telegraph. Take a listen. Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, has released a video appearing to show the beheading of U.S. hostage Stephen Sotloff. This is an edited version featuring a message from his, quote, British captor. Let's take a I'm look. back, Obama, and I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State, because of your insistence in continuing your bombings in our Mali Zamar and the Mosul Dam, despite our serious warnings. You, Obama, have yet again through your actions, killed yet another American citizen. So just as your missiles continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. Yikes. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. And I don't think, I mean, I don't consider myself one of Obama's people. So I don't know what Stephen Sotloff thinks or what um, poor, uh, gosh, I've forgotten the name, how terrible, James Foley. Uh, the other beheaded man, uh, an American journalist, uh, you know, did they even consider themselves Americans or one of Obama's people? I think they probably disagree with what Obama does. If they're like most Americans, they're either not aware or uh, don't condone what the American military does overseas. So this hostage policy... I don't know that it's going to get a lot of Americans riled up. It's not like they've already got a bunch of support behind the president. At least that's not my experience, although I admittedly come from a, a tainted worldview. So what information can we glean from this uh, horrific message? Well, when I don't want to watch the video. I don't want to see any more beheadings. But if it's anything like the last one, it's uh, questionable whether or not these beheadings are totally legitimate. Um, some people are claiming that they are not. And these are, you know, the quote-unquote experts. So here's what we know so far. Uh, on August 24th, the British ambassador to Washington, Peter Westcomat, said the UK was very close to identifying the British-accented killer of James Foley. More than a week later, there's been no public update on the hunt named for the man, uh, for the man nicknamed Jihadi John. And then uh, the video of Stephen Sotloff's apparent murder appears to have been found by private U.S. intelligence firms before it could be released by the Islamic State. News of Mr. Sotloff's death was broken by the Site, Site Intelligence Group, a private company that monitors jihadist activity and has close ties to the American intelligence community. The group's analysis found the video on what a spokesman described as a file-sharing site and sent it out to its subscriber list. Site subscribers include government officials, journalists, and academics involved in analyzing terrorism. I wonder how you get on that list. Well, you can compare that to the choreographed release of the video showing the murder of James Foley, which was released on YouTube and then pushed out by ISIS by all of its accounts. Very interesting what's going on in the world these days. Well, we'll be back with more peace news.